بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We tend to abstain from the more prominent sins theft, burglary, mugging, intoxicants, abuse of substances, violence, murder. But these are deeds that have their salient, that have their prominent and very manifest harms and dangers. And that's why many of these are uh, made illegal by law because of the damage to society. But Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah knows the subtle damage that sins commit. The silent and secret and almost invisible damage that sins commit, Allah has forbidden them. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has warned us against them. The sins of the tongue, for instance. Now we consider, Allah, if you were to punt someone or hit someone, then that's considered a great calamity, rightfully so. But if you were to verbally abuse them, as I say, sticks and stones break bones, but words never hurt. Nothing could be more false. Of course words hurt. And verbal abuse can actually be worse than physical abuse. Because verbal abuse leads, leaves lasting psychological damage. Verbal abuse is both mental, well, it's mental, emotional, and verbal. It's, it's insidious and possibly far more damaging. And it's only now, in the age of learning and science and technology and the study of the mind and advances in psychology that people are now recognizing the long-lasting and deep damage caused by verbal abuse. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam warned us of that 14 centuries ago. In Islam, there's no belief that sticks and stones break bones, but words never hurt. Far from it. Abuse, whether it's physical, is a sin. Abuse, if it's verbal, is a sin. Abuse, if it's emotional or mental, is a sin. So we think nothing of the sins of the tongue, whether it's backbiting, whether it's slander, whether it's calumny, whether it's false accusation, whether it's namima, tale-telling, carrying tales, gossiping. All of these have their damage. Any sin, whether it's by hand or by the tongue, whether even it's the heart, whether it's by heart or mind, is a sin in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are many sins are simply of the mind and the heart. A person does not have to utter a single word. Arrogance, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a person will never enter Jannah in whose heart there is a mustard seed's weight of arrogance. A mustard seed's weight of arrogance, of pride. And in another hadith, Prophet وسلم, described that pride. He said, <laughs> Pride is the denial of the truth and the contempt of the people. Holding anyone in contempt, though you may not utter a single word just by mind, is an extremely grave sin in the Book of Allah. So just as Allah may reward and forgive for a single good deed, though it may be small, Allah may also seize and punish for a single sin, no matter how trivial and small it may appear to be. We should never think of sins as being minor or major in themselves. We should think of whose command we are violating. We should think of who we are actually sinning against. And when we ponder over that, there can be no distinction between minor or major. Every sin is a sin primarily against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.